Out. That's what they want to do. We're talking about with football teams want to come out and establish the run. The Blue Jays want to come out and establish the post presence of Echenique and McDermott. And as we say, that great gives. Top of the key is McDermott, and he's good from long distance. Two for two. Bring a big run that blew the lead. Still there from Austin Chapman. Winds up in Doug McDermott's hands. He takes it inside the lane and gets the roll, and that's good. That is way off the mark. Air ball there for the senior. Open his man, a guy, he fires a three, and he's good. And just like that, that's three three-pointers for the Jays, and Mark Phelps. Jays want to push it. Open in the corner is Managa. He finds Doug down low. And he Drake one of eight for sh uh, shooting early on. Once again, Raggi in and out. But there's Doug McDermott with the offensive rebound and the putback. When the three-point shots aren't falling, you got to go inside. You got to try and get to the free throw line. Something. Raggi for three. That one's good. He knocks down his first three-point shooter. And the lob to it. Gregory Echenique throwing it down the big man from Venezuela. Drake now 2 of 11 from the field as Dingman fires a three, and that is nothing but bottoms. This is got three of four here, and the one area he's going to struggle is defensively, and he's got to make sure he stays locked in. Raggy. Uh, yawn. <laughs> well, what Jack, quick threes. Creighton offensively has nine assists on their 10 buckets so far tonight. Again, a very unselfish team as the little bunny there from Grant. Back into the ball game for the Jays is Austin Chapman, the sophomore point guard. Doug McDermott with a baseline jumper in. That is good. This team is absolutely on. Greg McDermott's going to see that and come with maybe a pick and pop or a slip. Grant Gibbs off the curl. He's in the paint and he's good. And Nick, it's 30 and rebounding the basketball, holding them to just one shot. However, is A.J. McCarron's girlfriend <laughs> in, the, in the stands tonight. The long ranger from Doug McDermott. This guy is six of six from the field. He's got 14 points. In well, can't fault Drake for continuing yeah, to shoot. Th those are low percentage shots. Oh, Chapman with the alley-oop to Will Artino get the big man involved. Take a look at Chapman, just throw it up to the rim. So you got 6'11 on six foot. That's an advantage, just throw it up to the rim and let the big fella go get it. And we get to use the new camera. We get to see the fun look. I love it, I love it too. See if they go at Van Dees knowing he's got three or two personal fouls as Rocky. Making eight three points. Doug McDermott has 14 points. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Is Nevin Johnson with a pretty impressive block? As the, these is important to try and get multiple guys minutes here. As Nevo is going to try a three and buries it. Yeah, even the guys that don't get much playing time, they're chasing. You'll take a look at coming out of nowhere and just going chest to chest and blocking it. Very well done to control his body and just reach out there and not get the foul. And on the other end, draining the three. It's all that pick and roll. For the lead in the Valley with made three-pointers. Taylor Stormberg strong to the rack. Off the glass and good. The defense season. Nick, as a former player in that last timeout, what do you expect to hear from a coach when you're up that big as Ethan Rocky gets a deuce? Wait, right there. You now try and create little. Second half, but we'll see as the Drake Bulldogs come out in a zone like they ended the second half. Wide open is Grant Gibbs for the three, and that is good. The Jays pick up right with contact. No good. Chapman wants to run the other way. Get in the paint, draw the contact off the glass, and in. That's a impressive. Goes and gets buckets and, and puts the ball on the floor. It can be difficult. Yeah, he's not one of those guys that creates no. a lot of a shot like uh, the guys from the starter. He's 12 of 17 from three. Wait. He's up to his stats as a starter, up to nine points per game. That one is good. Creighton moving the ball well, and 
They've shared the ball, been very unselfish so far this game. 18 assists on their 23 field goals as Raggy gets the easy layup inside, the rare layup. Only averaging just over 61 points per game. The bottom has basically fallen out since the non-conference portion of the schedule as Ethan Raggy continues. But he's just embraced his role as a spark plug off the bench, scoring. See if he can tee one up and knock it down. There it is. Now, he, he makes he makes three pointers like they're free throws. Yeah, I mean he really does. He's that kind Kevin of. Kevin Johnson, Will Artino, and Avery Dingman on the four for the Creighton Blue Jays. They lead Drake 67 of 40 as <laughs> Ethan Raggy drains at the mark. The Jays trying to execute a half court offense here. Just under nice. 10 minutes to go in the second half. Off the glass and good. Count it for Will Artino. It's late in games, and you know when the Jays play Wichita State or. or, or play anybody that'll give them a game. You know, where do they go for offense in terms of creating a shot as Manna got knocked down another 22 points he's set to check in with Andre Yates and Will Artino. Echenique down low finds Austin Chapman wide open for three and that is good. Valley game in action tonight. Missouri State hosting Illinois State. Missouri State leading 53-47 with five minutes to go in the second Nevin half there Johnson. as Nevin Johnson rattles home. He is Friday at Missouri State. You and myself will be in Springfield to watch the Jays take on Missouri State. As Creighton looks to move to 5-0 on Friday. State's on top 55-50. to 50. So The Blue Jays are going to have to be ready to go in Springfield on Friday night. Oh, Nevin Johnson climbing the ladder throw. is going to come middle, and he's just going to... Woo. Refuse it and go baseline. And that's one thing Creighton doesn't really have. They don't have a lot of guards that can play up any shots. Very aggressive, and that's uh, impressive to see. Joe Kelling gets one to go down. And the foul for the senior out of Kansas City. And the guys on the bench loving what they're seeing from their backup players. Joe Kelling doesn't even have his name on him.